Hello and welcome back with an RSPS video and today we're back on Redemption RSPS and today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be recording a brand new video in here I'm super excited today we're going to be showcasing all the unique contents this server got to offer at least a lot of them hope you guys enjoyed first things first the giveaway is going to be 15 billion in cash to one lucky winner all you have to do for that is like the video comment change your name down below and be subscribed to my channel if you guys never checked out Redemption make sure to do so they have currently 230 people online picking around 450 every single day so make sure you're joining with the link down below, make sure to enter the giveaway, and I would say, let's get right into the video. So, first things first for everybody who is gonna be joining Redemption, the first thing that's actually very appealing to do is to start the lovely Slayer Grant. To open the Slayer Teleport face right here, it's completely customized, as you can see. Go ahead, grab yourself a toss, you can get a lot of freaking money by selling these lovely Slayer keys right there. They go for lovely 18 million each, and you get keys for every task almost that you complete. You can also do a slay with other people, and there's a lot of people who are going to be playing this, so they can go ahead and open this lovely chest right there. Obviously, you can go and open it as well. I probably not recommend it though, since you can sell them for guaranteed money and early on. That's actually very nice. Slay unlocks a lot of different content, so I can definitely recommend to do it. Also, as you can see right here, some lovely rewards that you guys can go ahead and get from it. After you guys get a nice set, you want to go and hide and buy a Poseidon set if you're going to work for Mage Road. Get yourself an Elemental Fury stuff as well, maybe. And what you guys want to do after that is start bossing. Bossing is really, really cool on Redemption. You have a variety of different bosses, all of them dropping some nice custom items you guys were able to farm. As you can see, Arax saw one of the latest bosses that was released. Uh, then we've got freaking Hardest, the Spore, Lankrim, also amazing boss. We're probably going to go out and kill them. Somehow in the video, lot smoke, amazing boss as well. You'll find on Redemption, only custom content that you probably never see anywhere else. Queen Black Dragon as well, fully included right there. We have freaking Zalcano, Talus, as well as freaking Rockshire as well. Absolute amazing custom content the server has to offer. Then we have a bunch of different raids as well that you guys can go to. And it's not one, as you can see, it's a huge freaking list from freaking Araf, Avengers, Champs of Zarek, DC Universe, Diablo. And Rage Hardest, Ninja Titles, OG Dragon, Raid and Star Wars Raid, The Arcades, T.O.P., Vendura, Voldemort, Yu-Gi-Oh! Raid, and so much more. Even more, we've got the lovely custom minigames all right there. And most importantly, we have custom events. One is starting for 30 minutes. Maybe we're going to participate as well in it, where you guys can win some absolute amazing prizes. So definitely make sure to be participating on all of that lovely content. Another really cool thing is voting. Definitely sure to do that. It's literally just really locus. You can get some really nice starter cash for that one as well. Vote boxes as well as lovely vote tickets. You got three in total. And here we go. The final one, number three. And then you can choose 10% damage increase or 20% drop rate boost. I'll just take the drop rate boost since we've got to be doing some bossing. Then you can claim also Redemption Monopoly. Very, very amazing. You can do that every 12 hours. So make sure to be doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Is literally free money. So the first step boss we're going to be showcasing right there, the Araxo boss, one of the latest one that was dropped. I'm in Bastion slot, by the way, right here. That's why we can freaking fuck her up really, really nicely. Absolute nice cave. Absolute nice boss as well right there, as we can see. So you need to go out and burn these freaking webs. Look at this animation as well right here. Jesus Christ, that's actually freaking insane. And oh my god, we're about to freaking die here. So we burn this bad boy right here. Then we can continue the lovely grind. The custom content continues. I freaking love it. It's my first kill, by the way, as well, life right here. That's actually insane. And we got our rock CV spot right there. Oh my god, that's so nice. So it seems like she's done such the Arxo right there. Let's see what we gonna be getting. Let's see, let's see. And oh, there we go. We've got some Rax Axe, we've got some cash, some boxes. Absolute freaking awesome. So the next one I'd like to show is just Lankrim. Unfortunately, I have only the easy one unlocked, so I'm going to be killing it fairly quick. But normally this bad boy right here is also custom mechanics and everything. It has harder game modes as well, uh, which you guys have to unlock. Unfortunately, I don't have them unlocked, so that's enough in the chat. I look, you can just one-shot him. But yeah, he got a bunch of custom mechanics where you have to run around. Fire is following you. You got this poisoning thing. You have these mechanics right there that you have to follow as well. Really nice boss. Unfortunately... I can only show you the boss frame and the boss itself. Maybe I can go out and try and fist him only. I don't know. Maybe that's going to be fun. But even fisting him with Mike is freaking OP. But yeah, that's one of the mechanics right here, as you can see. Freaking love it to always have some custom mechanics on this boss right there. And uh, yeah, that's boss number two I'd like to showcase you. Lankrim the Undying. So the next boss is also a very popular one that you can also do with mass bossing. I'm a huge fan of it. That you guys will see right here, also with a bunch of custom animations. It is the very famous Lot Smoke, a boss that you guys will be able to farm either solo or together with 
with other people when they do um, massing on it. As you can see right there, I'm going the easy one as well, so I can do a quick showcase. And as we can see right there, he has also custom mechanics and everything. Switching pra uh, switching praise, all these different attacks. If you stand inside of that, you pr there's pretty big chance you're going to get one shot. So you don't want that to happen, to be fair. So when you get freaking frozen attack, you can say you get a freaking huge asset. And that's not funny because, uh, <laughs> oh my god. You can literally get freaking one shot. It, and you need different attack styles as well. I've took a freaking element of fury stuff, so it's going to take a minute for me to kill. But it's okay. After a freaking eternity, we finally got him to the next stage right there. I'm so freaking glad. And now as you can see, now we're going to do a lot of freaking damage through my custom side as well right there. To get him back to freaking get the kill finally. And there it is. Lot smoke is that. And I've got some gigantic remains. Also, amazing money maker. Again, you can do this also in a mass bossing where you don't even need to have good gear. And you guys will be getting a lot of freaking of these battles right there, which you can sell for millions. So a nice money maker. Not just lot smoke, but also a nightmare is very nice. I think there is a... Nightmare massing happening right now. Next for the live show, because you guys is next. Also, of course, included on Redemption. There's someone else also fighting, apparently. That's actually very nice. With all different phases and everything. So that's actually very nice. There's actually two people with me right now. Jesus Christ. And of course, next completely customized Redemption as well. That you guys will be able to farm with all its different brothers included. Other custom bosses, aka old school RuneScape bosses that got completely customized, like the Abyssal Sire, also included on Redemption. Absolute freaking nice. Next on the list, Queen Black Dragon. Also, as you know, it fully included as well. Completely customized the drop table. Absolute awesome boss, iconic one. You guys will be able to grind a Redemption. So similar to normal one, you have all the different uh, paths you have to go and activate after you kill her and get her done. You need to go ahead and activate the thing right there to activate the second port. I think it's four in total. To be honest, I haven't done it in a while. And after you do all of them, you are completing the kill. But as you can see, all the mechanics are working perfectly fine as you know it also from normal RuneScape. Which makes this game so much fun. Next boss on the list is Nightmare, of course, including Redemption. Again, this one is very popular to be completed in a mass one. It's a very nice money maker. You guys get the unique drop tables as well as nightmare coins, which you can sell similar to the lot smoke one with the dragon remains where you've guaranteed cash. I'm going to show you really quick the solo run right here. I'm not sure how easy or how hard it is to be fair. Um, but yeah, in a solo, as we can see, we do actually a lot of freaking damage. But yeah, I've just realized how freaking kill we're destroying this poor guy right here. And um, yeah, obviously you can run it solo. But the best one is honestly with boosters in a mass one. Because that's actually insane freaking money you can make from. Alright. Here we go. He's already dead. Very nice. And as you can see right there. 36 nightmare coins. That's not bad at all. And over here you can see the nightmare shops. Where you guys can spend your nightmare coins to buy your lovely nightmare stuff. Which is very OP as well as all the orbs and everything. Yep. Spend your nightmare coins. Or go ahead and sell them. And of course you got the nightmare chest as well that you guys can open for some lovely rewards. Another cool boss you found with some nice uh, rewards definitely work it as well. That can be found in the boss list as well. All the mechanics you guys know also included on here. I just freaking watched it of course because we do a lot of freaking damage as you can see right there. But also really nice to farm. Also another thing on redemption is the different souls that you can forge into different coins. To get some extra RNG slash opening fun besides the unique drops you can farm on every single boss and monster. So other bosses as you can see right there, Zalcano as well. I'm probably not going to be showcasing, but you get 1 billion in cash. That's very, very awesome. Talos is pretty neat. Let's try that one out. So Talos was one of the latest content pieces as well that was released on Redemption, as you can see right here. This is content you've never seen on other servers, especially custom servers before, which makes it so freaking cool as well as with uh, different custom animations and custom mechanics. So that's actually freaking awesome. But I thought you've just seen, I need Slayer level 120 to attack this monster, which is very, very unfortunate. And, um, yeah. But you guys get the idea. You saw this bad boy right here. Looks absolutely nice and got some really nice drop tables as well. And as you can tell, for a lot of content pieces, a lot of bosses and everything, you need Slayer requirements. So to make sure you be grinding Slayer right off the bat, it's very OP money maker. Plus, you need it to enable a lot of end game content. Another crazy ass boss with custom extent is Roksha right there. That was recently released. I haven't done this boss either yet. But I've seen a couple other people uh, do it. As you can see right here, also with custom animation and everything. Looks absolute freaking awesome. And um, yeah, this is content you will never find on any other custom server than on Redemption. 
This makes this server so unique and definitely the number one out there. And that is pretty much the boss site right there. Time to check out the raids. So obviously, the first one, the classic one, Champs Zarek, right there. You can tell right there, all the lovely custom mechanics and everything that you guys know also from Old School RuneScape are included as well on Redemption. Super, super nice. I think oh, that's the second phase right there. And after that, what are we going to be getting? The lovely kill. Also, you need all three attack styles. And nope, apparently, one more wave right there, aka phase. And there we go, Cog's gone bladed, oh, very nice, the hat is dead. And now we can go out and loot the ancient chest. Next one, it's the Obey. But of course, it's also with custom loot and drop table. First fruit, most per usual, made in, completed. Blot is there. Oh, another amazing thing is definitely the vote boss, it just got spawned, unfortunately I missed it. Dropped some amazing things as well, you need to vote to be able to go there. Unfortunately we missed that one, it actually kills the dice very, very quick. But yeah. Next up, we've got the spider room. After all the little minions, finally the big boss just spawned. And of course, which between attack cells to be able to complete it. Sota Zack with custom minigames as well. I've completely fucked up. I might be actually even dying here. I might be even dying here. That is actually so bad what I did. Thank the Lord I didn't die there. Jesus Christ. Wait, there's another one? Oh my god. So you can tell these guys put a lot of freaking time development, which I freaking love. Sops is about to die as well. Very nice. Now we're going finally to the final round. And after killing all the three phases, you guys complete T.O.B. Absolutely nice as well. Into the chest room. And imagine we pull something rare. That'd be amazing. And it seems like it's a normal chest. Rast and pepperonis. We've got freaking lintworm roots. Oh my goodness. But the good thing is you get TOB points that you guys can spend in the shop similar to the Nightmare Wood. If you talk to the NPC next to the entrance, you can see right there all the lovely weapons, how much TOB points they cost. And you guys will be able to spend them unless you get them also from a unique drop tables. If not, and you go try, you can buy them from the shop right there. And then of course we have a bunch of custom rates as well that you guys will be able to grind as mentioned before. This one for example is the DC Universe right here. Where you kill a bunch of different uh, themed NPC. Batman right there, wave 2, we've got Joker, and after you complete all the waves, you're going to get some nice currency and rewards. Raid completed, as you can see right there, we've got a DC Universe box, thank you very much. Another very popular theme out there, Star Wars as well included on lovely redemption that you guys will be able to go ahead and farm. <laughs> Look at that, right, all the different themes and stuff you guys love around. Uh... Wow, look at that. Let's go. I've actually never done this right, right in a while. As you can see, also with custom animations and everything. That is pretty lit. Gotta switch also tech stars. Freaking stormtroopers. Let's kill them. I've just completed the way if you want to go into the next portal to go into the next room. And you do that all the way until you complete the entire raid. That is actually very freaking dumb. And that might be the final boss right here. The end game. Mandalorian GG no raid. And yes, it was. We can open the chest to see what loot we're going to be getting. Good luck to us. The Baskar's all Okay, thank you very much. And the last raid I would like to show you is the Yu-Gi-Oh raid as well. All the themes are represented. This is actually a pretty tough one if I remember correctly, so I'm not even sure if we'll be able to do it without planking. A lot of custom mechanics included, which is pretty freaking nice. It's actually pretty cool because you actually compete against this Joy Wheeler right there. After each wave, new ones will be spawning with harder and harder mechanics. Next freaking Yu-Gi-Oh trainer we're fighting right there. Is the T Gardener good luck? And we complete that wave. I think the last one is actually the hardest one by far. And here we go, the final one we've killed Exodia. GG's Neri. And as you can see, some lovely rewards coming in as well. And of course, with its own Yu Gi Oh box that you guys will be able to open. Other than that, a huge content piece as well is the lovely Dice Zone. There is uh, a huge gambling community today. I'm definitely not going to be gambling Logan right there, but there's a lot of people gambling. You have slot machines you can also play on. Mr. 305, no, we're not going to be gambling it. But yeah, gambling is also a huge content piece on Redemption. And lastly, there is a bunch of freaking upgrades you guys can go ahead and do, which is pretty freaking nice as well, where you can see the different upgrades you guys can get. Huge freaking upgrade list right there. Very nice interface. And next to that, you can also get the salvaging table right there. Through the blacksmiths and everything, absolute freaking nice. As you can see as well, scavenger, lots of different chests and boxes also that you guys will be able to open. Tons of money makers, tons of events, tons of people. Redemption is just a very, very completed custom server out there. If not, the most completed one. And that's not even it. There is custom uh, quests you guys can complete, custom skills. 
and various karma, salvaging, freaking scavenging, gambling, and so much more you guys will be able to today and that is also gonna be the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it as you can tell redemption got endless freaking content and obviously everyone should have tried this server at some point in their sps uh grinds if you have joined yet first thing in the script you definitely give it a try even if you played it a long time ago you will realize the server has changed a lot and have added a lot of content depending on where you've obviously played the last time but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to be entering the giveaway by liking the video, commenting your name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. I'll see you online.